Good morning, Glen Cove High School. This is Lila Santamaria for GCTV, and welcome to the Friday Morning News. I'm sure most of you are aware that there will be a major eclipse this coming Monday. We sent GCTV reporter Ben Brenner to the Science Department to find out more about this upcoming celestial event. This is Ben Brenner for GCTV, and we're here in the science wing of the Glen Cove High School trying to find out everything we need to know about Monday's solar eclipse. Well, for the solar eclipse on Monday, we are doing a solar viewing party hosted by the none other than Mr. Builder. After school, we're going to be giving out the entire staff and student body uh, solar viewing glasses. So everybody can have a chance to see it after school. Well, the solar eclipse is going to be starting um, viewing around us for Long Island. It's going to be starting around maybe 2.15, 2.30-ish. Uh, the peak totality, though, is not going to really happen until around 3.30. And then it's going to be finished up fully at around 4.15, 4.30-ish. So all around a total, maybe about two hours. Um, what exactly is a solar eclipse? Let me have a little demonstration set up for you guys. Here's the Earth. This little rock right here is the moon. Here's the sun, okay? This is what basically happens. Uh, because the Earth and the moon are tilted against each other by about five degrees, all right? The moon comes into the path of the sun and you get a little tiny shadow. I don't know if you guys can see it, all right? And this is basically the path of the, the moon during that day. We're going to be hanging out on the field with solar telescopes and uh, we'll have music playing and really just have a, try to have a really big community spirit for this awesome, awesome event. I think it's going to be a really nice thing to see if I'm able to see it. Okay. And yeah, I mean, we'll just see what happens to the sky, I guess. So we always hear about the dangers of the solar eclipse every year. So why should we always wear glasses? Now, I don't know as much as I wish I did, but it's because you could, if you look at the sun while it's in an eclipse, um, you don't like stop yourself from looking at it because it looks different and you don't want to mess up your eyes by looking straight at the sun. So this one is a pretty cool one because we're actually getting that line of totality to pass through our state. You know, solar eclipses, they don't happen every year, and especially to have one where the, the actual shadow of the moon passes through us so we could see it, happens even more infrequently. So having this to pass through right through Buffalo, it's gonna give us a chance to see anywhere from like 80 to 90% coverage, All right? That's gonna be awesome. The next one's not gonna happen until I think 2079. So please, everybody, make sure you come out Monday after school. The last solar eclipse to be seen in New York was in 1925, and there won't be another one visible in the state of New York until 2079. So this is actually a big deal and could be, for many people, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For GCTV, this is Ben Brenner. Back to the studio. Thanks, Ben. Right now, all eyes are on Monday's weather. With any luck, the clouds and rain that we've been having this past week will pass, and we can all witness this special event in the sky. Ask your science teacher for more information. That's all for this week. For GCTV, this has been Lila Santamaria. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.